All is right in the world. Waiting for my toes. Oh, wait. Oh, it already is done. Ugh, didn't even realize that. <gasps> I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh. Oh, I just kicked you in the head. I'm so sorry, BB. been feeling like fall air in the early mornings um but it's already getting pretty warm <laughs> still full on summer in the afternoons which i'm not mad about i love summer it's my favorite season today i am going to go dog sit for most of the day before that i want to run to the post office i have a couple things to mail. I think I have enough time to run down there real quick um, before I go over to the house I'm gonna be dog sitting at and there I will share the story of what the title of this video is probably gonna be. <laughs> it's not a long story or even super exciting but it was um what's the word? It'll be etched in my mind for a long time so I'm gonna get going while eating my toast and drinking my tea the sun is warm I don't know why I'm holding the cup <laughs> ready boo here's boo are you ready I just kicked her in the head so hard. I felt so bad. The amount of times I have bonked her right in the noggin in the van is far too many. I feel so bad when I do it. This is such a small, small space, Bill. I think she's kind of upset with me right now, honestly. I, I really rocked her. Poor baby. Get on your side, honey. Get on your side. Come on. now the next afternoon. I just left the farmer's market so I'm going to show you what I got real quick and then I'm going to put it away and then I'm actually going to go up north a little bit to my new favorite store. <laughs> so I'll show you what it is and why I like it so much but thought I would kind of like treat myself to something I've been wanting for a while today so let me show you what i got at the market this is my little haul i got a couple heads of romaine lettuce some broccoli a cauliflower i don't know what i'm going to do with the cauliflower normally i bake cauliflower and i cannot bake in here but i just haven't had cauliflower in a while some radishes a couple romanesco zucchini really big bell pepper a couple different kinds of tomato and what kind of melon is this it's called a Char uh, Charlene or Charlene melon. I'm really excited for that. So this was $26. All organic um, and all local. So I really like that. So I'm going to put all this away if I can fit it in my fridge. 
and then start heading up north. I think my drive is probably like an hour and 20 minutes just to go to this one store. So <laughs> I'm excited though. It's going to be worth it. try filming this one more time uh, I just filmed this entire like little part of this video that I want to share and I went to like I was done and my phone was dead like the whole time so <laughs> I'm gonna try to redo it right now um, but I am I've been at this spot um, where I'm at right now for probably over an hour now and just kind of hanging out here until I go back to town later but um, I'm at the same spot that I was whale watching at the end of my last video um, and I've been here another time since then and I saw a whale breach that time too this has just been the most reliable and amazing place to come hang out so super foggy now um, not far inland it's it is not foggy at all it's sunny Anyway, so you saw that I went to Woodcraft. That's the store that I am currently really loving. I've only been there twice, but um, basically if you've never been to Woodcraft, it's just for everything woodworking. Anything woodworking that you could think of. Wood carving, carpentry, everything. They have all sorts of tools. I could spend so much money there. <laughs> it's so cool. But um, the reason that I went there and the little thing that I got for myself was this hatchet. I'm really excited about this hatchet. So I'm going to be using this for wood carving and cutting down pieces of wood to carve. And this isn't like my ideal hatchet. Um, I actually wanted a different one, but I didn't have anywhere to get it shipped to. And it's from maybe Sweden. I can't remember. Um, somewhere in Europe gosh got my door open so we're on a leash but um this one has very similar specs to the one that I would have liked to get and so I'm I'm totally happy with this um so far I haven't used it yet but yeah just super stoked it's by bison and it's the hunter's hatchet so I'm really excited to use this I have been wanting a hatchet for wood carving um for a while. So I started wood carving less than a year ago. I'm still 100% a beginner. I have so much to learn. I'm completely self-taught, so I have like not much technique or skill at all, but I hope that in time that will change. Um, hopefully one day down the road in my life, I can also find a mentor um, to just help me learn better skills. But yeah, so I got, um, I got the hatchet and then I also got my first ever diamond stone for sharpening. So I wanted to get something specifically for sharpening that hatchet that I could also use for my knives. And I got this 400 and 1200 double-sided diamond stone. So I'm very, very excited about this as well. Um, the other time that I went there, I got this um, Japanese folding saw. Uh, because I wasn't quite certain what hatchet I wanted. And then I also got this sweep gouge. So I have, I've only used this a little bit so far. Um, I still need to learn how to properly use it to be as effective as possible. But yeah, um, I was just carving some fur for the first time and the fur is actually really fun to cut, cut to carve. The fur is really fun to carve, so, um, yeah, that's what I've been doing while my phone's been charging. But what you're all actually probably here for is to hear the story about how I caught someone trying to break into my van. This happened last week. I had been camping for a few days, so the last day I was out hiking all day, and by the time I got back to town, I didn't really want to cook dinner, so I decided to go get pizza downtown. Went and parked downtown in a parking lot that I've parked in numerous times before with no issue. And um, I was in the pizza place for 10 minutes tops. It couldn't have been longer than that. 
and I come out of the back of the pizza place and I'm walking towards my van and I saw a woman kind of like walking around the vehicles, my van included, but like the vehicles surrounding my van, but it didn't look like any of them were hers. So it, she did catch my eye. So I was watching her as I was approaching the van. She walks in between my van and the vehicle next to mine on the driver's side. And as I'm coming around the corner, I see her um, pulling on my driver's um, my driver's door handle, like literally like, like this, like trying so hard to get it open. Um, so I immediately like yell at her, like, I don't even remember what I said. I think I said, don't touch my van. And I startled her. She like took a few steps back. She was probably like in her fifties. Um, she looked normal. Um, she didn't look like particularly odd or off. Um, and so I yelled at her to get away from my van and she started immediately going into the story of like, oh, I thought that um, this was my friend's van and I don't know where my phone is and blah, blah, blah. And she got really frantic. And at that point I realized she's probably on drugs. She like continues trying to talk to me and I get in the van and I'm just telling her to get away from me, get away from my van, get away. I don't want to talk to you. like. It was, it, it was just like a very frantic energy that she had. Um, so I uh, then began to leave. I, I very briefly considered calling police, but I also just truthfully didn't think that it would matter at all. I didn't think anything would happen or that, I thought it would be a waste of time really. And I still think that. Um, but yeah, so she goes over, she, I'm telling her to get away. She goes back over a couple vehicles down to what does appear to be her vehicle with an elderly man in it. So that was interesting. So I'm leaving the parking lot and I see the security guard for the parking lot and I wave him over to my van and I told him what happened. It's kind of weird. Like I feel like the security guards in this area don't actually do security. I don't think that they care about their job. I think it's just like a job. <laughs> Sorry if you're a security guard, but that's the vibe I get from the security guards around here. But, um, yeah, I told him what happened and, uh, I told him, yeah, she's still like, she's literally right there. If you want to go figure out what's going on, I don't know if she's going to like try to break into other people's vehicles, you know? So I'm pulling out and he's going over to talk to her. And that's kind of like the last, the last part of it. So, um, yeah, I, I think like my initial emotions around it were just being very annoyed um, at the situation. And then um, I tried really hard to just let it go. But the truth is, is that as the night progressed and then into the next day, I just started feeling more and more violated. And just like, even though she didn't get inside, I just, I think seeing someone trying so hard to get into my home um, that had my cat in it and all of just everything that I have, you know, all of my life is in here. It just felt very like violating. So that sucked. Um, but I, I feel better now and nothing did happen. I'm really grateful for that. And I also like, don't want to add to the fear, like to anyone's fear of like, Oh, like if you, move into a van it's gonna get broken into because I don't think that's true I don't think that's like that that happens all the time um it can happen but it can happen like to anyone anywhere and I also think there's a level of like attracting certain things certain events and I probably did attract that in some way but that's probably like another level of the story that I don't think is relevant to this here on this, this channel. So that's what happened. And I'm probably going to leave it at that because I'm really struggling to get through like one full clip of this story and I don't want it to cut me off again. So it's getting kind of later in the evening. I'm probably going to make some dinner now and I think I'll continue this video into tomorrow before I end it. So if I don't see you later tonight, I'll see you tomorrow.
little uptake because I'm doing a bad job of filming anything for this vlog. But it's the next day and today I went to a bouldering gym that I hadn't been to before, mainly so that I could shower. <laughs> but I also did climb, which was nice because it's been a while since I climbed. So that was nice. I actually enjoyed the gym a lot better than the other one that I've been to in this area. Yeah, but I got a shower in, which is great. <laughs> and I was able to take my time and it was, you know, clean and it, it was good. I'm very grateful. So now I just stopped at Trader Joe's and look what I found. I haven't found this at a Trader Joe's in so long. I thought that they stopped carrying it and I found it here. So this is what I'm having for dinner tonight. I think about this every time I go to a Trader Joe's and they never have it. So I'm very excited about that. The reason I went to this bouldering gym actually is because I signed up for a month of class pass for $5. So it was like an intro offer that they had. And if you don't know what class pass is, it's like, it's an app that has a bunch of different gyms and yoga studios, massages, uh, salons. It's mostly like fitness related, I think. There's probably like dance classes and stuff on there. Any studio or place that works with them will like post their classes on there and then they cost like credits so basically I got a month of class pass for five dollars and with it I got 28 credits so I went to a yin class the other night that cost one credit and then going to this bouldering gym cost three credits so I've only used four credits which means I have 24 left for the month and all it was was five dollars so I don't know how many classes that's gonna you know equal but even if I didn't go to another class I went to the yin class in the climbing gym for five dollars total that's pretty cool so I think I have a referral link and I don't really remember what the offer is like if you sign up with that link but I'll put it in here and I'll put the link in the description of this video just because I think it's kind of a cool way to first of all get a shower <laughs> but also to try different gyms and studios in the area so the yin class I went to the other night was at a yoga studio I had never been to before and I actually loved it like it was the best yin class I've been to in a really long time and I take my yin very seriously so I was very appreciative of that and now I've been to that yoga studio, so if I want to go back there, I know that number one, they're on class pass, and number two, I like the studio, so. Anyway, um, whether you travel or not, it's just a good thing to try out, to like try different studios and gyms, so. Anyway, that was kind of um, my afternoon, and now I'm just running a couple errands before I park for the rest of the afternoon, evening. And I think I might carve on my spoon I started yesterday. Uh, that's what I'm kind of wanting to do. I'm like just really excited about that spoon. So I'll, I'll check in later. I'm so excited. It's getting kind of cold. on my sweater. Some people are so weird. Okay, I know I just said some people are weird. And in saying that, I acknowledge that I am also weird. So, just so no one takes offense to that. So good, wow. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this. It's 
getting dark. I'm eating in the van just because there's kind of a lot of people around where I'm at. There's a beautiful crescent moon over there. I'd show you, but it, it wouldn't show up on my camera. But anyway, this ravioli is so good. <laughs> I know it doesn't look that good on camera, but I've been wanting this for a while been looking at ravioli at the grocery store lately too so this is like perfect mm. I mean it's not the best ravioli in the whole world <laughs> but it's really hitting the spot right now that's it for this video the day is over and so is this so thanks for being here Remember to keep your doors locked, but also try not to worry about anything bad happening or just, you know, being negative because then you're going to attract those things into your life. The rest of my week this week is going to be planning out maybe my next month. So I'll either be starting out by heading somewhere new or I'll be starting on a project that I need to do for the van. I, I would like to do both those things so it's just kind of figuring out um, the logistics of it all and yeah I'm like very much uh, about to my limit on spending my time in towns so I really need to get out um, back to like my comfort which is being away from people <laughs> having more privacy and quiet. So, uh, probably in the next video or two, you will see some of that. Thanks for being here. I hope you have a good day or night. We'll see you in the next one.